I'm Werner, captain of the Karma, bought the ship eight years ago. My goal was to sail around the, the world with it, and I'm now busy doing it. The Karma is a steel uh, catch, 12 meters, been built in 83 in Germany. The most important feature is that the hull is of thick steel, and it's a ship being made for long voyages. The things I'm most uh, happy with is our uh, shaft propeller uh, alternator that generates electricity. The propeller of the ship is always turning and we made a, a large pulley on it and a, an old alternator above it and now we just create energy uh, while we're sailing. Okay, what you can see here is the, the meter of the shaft propeller alternator. That is amps of, of power pushing in our batteries. Karma is a wind vane, Luna steers the boat automatically. She keeps the uh, boat on a steady course regarding to the wind. So when the wind shifts, the boat shifts with the wind, so you don't have to change the sails. Well, my goal is to sail around the world. Uh, from Amsterdam to Lanzarote, Cape Verde, Recife in Brazil. And there's a very small island over there, Tristan da Cunha. Then to Cape Town. Well, that's uh, the plan for three months. From there on to Fremantle and then to, to Melbourne. And off we were. We left Medenblik Marina in the IJsselmeer in the Netherlands on the 21st of September, autumn equinox. We were off to Madeira and Werner was not to come back home at least for six months. The IJsselmeer waved us goodbye and we started planning our crossing through the English Channel. Times were good, sun was up, and it was time to play. With more or less luck. Maybe there's not enough wind? I don't know. So the first piece of plastic on the project is plastic to collection. Here I show how the collection of the plastics work in this project. You can see what elements I've just used for cooking. Some plastics from the onions, the top of the sun-dried tomatoes, and some other bits of plastics. Once I finish cooking, I put them together on a bag and I collect them. The goal of the project is to collect, reuse, transform, upcycle all plastic that I will personally use. I have another bag. I collect what I call dirty plastics. It's plastic that is used with organic material and it needs to be cleaned nicely with fresh water. So the goal is that every plastic that I use gets collected. If it can be transformed or upcycled, it will be done. If it can't, you have to come with me and with the project all the way to New Zealand. Happy days! Having never seen my leg Troubles in the skyline Trees are shivering So is the heart and my skin Birds left the prey behind Disappeared from the sky
we ran into a wind farm under construction. Yes, uh, the whole wind farm is under construction at the moment. We could almost touch it. Yeah, you're actually within the, the boundaries of the farm. Adrenaline uh, shock. You are actually in one of the entrance gates. Yeah, we managed to uh, change course. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of uh, work going on here. Quite fast. We kept on looking for if there's one on the construction, there's a whole park. So it's the rest of the park. The park is there. It's, I think it's well lit. Now. You so there was a boy. You should have a boy in your star at the moment. Um, if you do, you could see it due south of that, the wind farm. You are actually at the south end. Been living long enough And weather many storms, you know The weather change again, again, yeah For the good or for the bad, yes For the good or for the bad, it's up to you oh. Say the least, right? Carrying. Watch you move in the
I was uh, anxious to get out there. And when I was there, it was just uh, going through all the steps. I was on the wrong side, so it took a long time to fix the storm sail. It felt like hours. We think it, there will be at least this amount of uh, wind for some time and more. Likely to be more. See. So it was getting uncomfortable. I felt uh, yeah, and to safe sailing and stuff like that. Yeah. My first one this year, this decade. Nice. Pretty intense, but fun at the same time. Pretty tired, but adrenaline keeps you quite on your toes, which is good. So we have a bit of weather oh, and going upwind, trying to cross Finisterre one day. Finisterre! The fried eggs are a bit challenging. It might be like more of an omelette, but we'll see. English breakfast? beans, we got some mushroom and tomatoes, we got some fresh fresh sausages, a bit of bacon and some toast. I'm sure it will taste good, it's, it's, it's never about the presentation right?
So when doing the shopping for the crossing, we looked for a balance between necessities and what we were wanting to have. So we did a little bit of previous shopping online and then we did some supermarket shopping. It resulted in plastic from both sides. It's unavoidable. There's packaging and most of the things are coming on plastic. But there's always good solutions for not buying so much plastic and buying bulk. For example, we bought the oats, 5 kilos, brown rice, 5 kilos, sunflower seeds, 5 kilos, they will last some time. 10 kilos of rice, but I thought it was going to be a very sustainable way of buying crackers. When we opened it, it came with this madness of plastic! But, something happens.
in the middle of the ocean, hundreds of miles from everywhere, with not a single drop of wind. Nothing. I'm gonna talk a little bit crazy now. Surprise! A salt breakfast is a healthy breakfast composed of salty elements, very healthy, maybe a little bit full of fat. Enchiladas, uh, chorizo, full of fat. Love. Basil, cucumber, uh, loaves, full of fat. Uh, always a Tabasco is included. Surprise! Full of fat.